Hey Cancer, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your Love Tarot Angel and Oracle card reading. Hope you guys are doing very well. To my existing subscribers, thank you so much for your love and support. And for my new viewers and potential subscribers, thank you for stopping by. This reading, although it's timeless, it is being published in July of 2020. So let's see what God, Angels, and Universe has in store for you, Cancer. Woo! The Nine of Wands just came busting out. Um, a lot of you guys are being protective and calling yourselves keeping to yourselves, but I don't think that's going very well, is what I'm getting intuitively. Um, I feel like you are trying to use your relationship to offset another situation that has gone on, right? So as an example, if you lost your job, you're trying to invest more in your relationship or... Um, if you were thinking about maybe moving and normally you would make the plans yourself, you're trying to include your mate, your spouse, your partner in this, um, decision to kind of make them feel comfortable, important, or valuable. Who I feel like this mate or person has kind of told you lately, uh, um, cancer, that your recent movements or your decision-making has made them feel a little isolated and left out. Okay, the Nine of Wands and also the Three of Cups. Again, something hurt you and caused you to put your guards up and be very, very, very defensive. Three of Swords. I hope I didn't say Three of Cups. I meant Three of Swords. Um, you know, a lot of people, readers will say that's a third-party situation. To me, not so much. It's just pretty much, you know, outside influences kind of coming in and maybe distracting or pulling you away from your relationship. And um, with the nine of wands, you know, this is the scaredy cat, right? This is the, the guy who's like, he's built up this wall uh, around him to keep stuff out. But what's unfortunate is that it keeps the good stuff out too. But he's too bit too much of a scaredy cat to let that down and to just let things flow in. You've got the 10 of pentacles and the knight of cups. You're again, I do kind of feel like, you know, you're trying to invest more love and attention to things of value, right? Um, that they're saying to me, again, you're trying to intertwine your love life and like your passionate projects and not necessarily passionate projects. So let's just call them projects, um, things that are value things, you know, maybe even money management, investing and things of that nature. Either you're taking a love for it or again, you're trying to incorporate you know, these types of activities into your love life as well. You're trying to uh, incorporate love and money. You're trying to mesh those together. With the nine of um, wands here again with the fool, right? I feel like this is you lying to yourself, right? It's like, okay, I'm a working out. I'm gonna do good. I'm gonna trust and I'm gonna be better. And it's like, no, you ain't. You know, at the first sign of trouble, them freaking guards go up again. I'm just going to hold that really close up to the camera so you can see the look on her face. She is scared. She is fucking like, yo, I don't know what the hell is out there. I don't know what's coming. In my mind, it's coming to get me and I am afraid. Okay. I don't know what, what has you like that, Cancer. Um, You have the fool, which is trust. You know, the fool is that guy who just kind of goes out there and goes with the flow. He's living the life by the seat of his pants. Sometimes he doesn't pay attention and that gets him in trouble. I feel like for you, Cancer, if um, if you paid attention a little bit more, you wouldn't be as scared. And that's the name of your video, by the way. I feel like if you paid attention more, you wouldn't be as scared. Because I do kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, um, because you're so emotional, you feel more. But if that doesn't necessarily equate to paying attention more. Okay, I'm just saying. Next cards, the lovers with the Knight of Pentacles, right? This, the lovers card is, it's it's about, you know, two people. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's also about a, a compatibility and um, that mirroring. So it could represent a person or it could represent a thing, a hobby, a new job, going back to school. That thing that, you know, you're in line and you're uh, in alignment and in attunement with, Right. And I feel like that is something that you're absolutely searching for. I feel like it's a little slow, right? You're trying to find your niche. Um, for some of you guys, you could have started a new career. You could have um, uh, changed. You could have uh, retired. You could have done those things. And you're just looking like hell for something to come along and like grab your attention the same way that your job did. 
Princess of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles, right? I do feel like you're being a lot more conservative when it comes to money, right? And you're holding and maybe saving it or a lot more. I don't necessarily feel like you have to, Cancer, believe it or not. But I do kind of feel like, again, this is something that you're telling yourself that you actually may not be doing yourself. Okay? The next one is a Five of Swords with the Magician. Um, you are acting like this is the best decision for the both of you, you and your partner. But at the end of the day, it's really the best decision for you. Right? It's something that um, you are pretending to do for the both of you. But at the end of the day, I feel like um, you are the primary benefactor. I'm just going to raise these two cards as well, because again, you have the magician here also with the king of swords, you know, which basically kind of says, yeah, I'm going to make it seem like, you know, it's God and divine intervention and things just happen and I'm just going with the flow. But behind the scenes, I'm controlling every freaking thing because, you know, again, I'm this figure. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid to just let go, let loose and and trust. I think at the end of the day, Cancer, that's exactly what that is, is you have some very deep issues with trusting, right? Trusting God, trusting angels, trusting the universe, trusting that things will be okay, even if you do nothing. I think there it is right there. Maybe that'll be the name of this video, you know, trust, even though, um, trust in things, even if you do nothing. First card out for the Romance Angels is let your friends help you. Ask and accept support from others. Um, don't get that you're the greatest at this, um, Cancer, which is basically meaning, you know, you are a prideful uh, sign, whereas, you know, your deepest, darkest secrets, you keep them to yourself, especially if they're related to success and failure, right? So this is kind of saying maybe be a little bit more vulnerable, Right. Be a little bit more vulnerable and open up and allow your friends to see a different side of you that really exists. Second one is true love. This is a romance. This romance. This is a romance. This is the romance of a lifetime. Um, I do feel like that's a, absolutely at the surface. Right. That's to me is kind of like what you're running from. You're running from your inner self and your divine self and who you really are. Um for fear that it would get hurt because it's, it's so sacred and in such a raw space that, you know, you, um, not only do you keep people away from it, but hell, you stay away from it your damn self. Last card is children. Your love life is being affected by um, children. I feel like this is one of the distractions, um, that you use to keep your love life again, maybe keep your partner at bay right? Because you don't want anybody close to that sacred space. So Cancer, if I had to summarize, it just kind of feels like um, you possibly could be in a relationship where basically you're lying to yourself and your partner because you're trying to act like, oh yeah, we're together. We're a great couple. We're a power couple. But it's almost like you do things fictitiously for show. So it looks like you guys are the great couple, this, that, and the other. But at the end of the day, you have your partner at bay because you're too afraid of letting them get in too close. You could have recently, you know, changed jobs, changed whatever, which means you have more time. You have more, you, you have more time basically to be afraid, right? You have more time to be afraid. And this is just kind of turning up the heat, which is why you're creating all of these new activities to block out the fact or the idea of your partner getting closer and then discovering, holy shit, she's a scared little girl inside. I don't know if I want her anymore, which again is why you're so offset and afraid because again, it's almost like if people see you for who you really were or who you really are, um, it would destroy and hurt you ridiculously. But at the end of the day, I just kind of feel like, you know, that true love comes when people can see all of your ugliness, right? True love comes when people can see all of your ugliness because at that moment they have a choice and they decide to love your ugliness. There are millions and billions of us out here who love ugliness, Cancer. Okay, will you expose? Can you ever be comfortable exposing yours? I'm just saying. That felt like a really deep reading. So if it resonated, you know what to do. Love you guys.